So in this course, we're going to be making the game you see behind me. It's based on an Atari 2600 game. It's called Sequest. It's really cool. I recommend playing it. It has really good game mechanics. And so I was like, you know what? Let's try to remake it. And that's what we do in this course. But we're not going to make a one-to-one -one remake of this game because that would be super boring. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to modernize this game. So I'm going to get creative and I'm going to change it up just a little bit. We're going to talk about some of the major design differences and why I've made them. You're gonna learn the best practices when you're developing a game in Godot. You're gonna learn how to make a global game state system, and you're gonna make a game event management system. And finally, we're gonna add a sound manager system into our games. And these are custom scripts and functionality that's gonna make it easier for you guys to make games. And you could reuse these design approaches in your games, and it's gonna make your life a lot easier. We're gonna make a player, the player can move, the player can shoot and do all that kind of fun things. We're going to add sharks, which you can absolutely murder and shoot at, which is really fun. And we're adding an oxygen system. So you can go up and refill oxygen and it's going to decrease over time and all that fun stuff. And we're also going to add people in the water that you got to save because that's the goal of the game is you got to collect all the people and save them because that's what's going to get you all them points. I'm going to show you guys if you get errors in your project, some of the places that you can look and ways to prevent these errors and understand how to fix them. You're going to learn how to program games in GD Script. Now, if you don't have any programming experience, that's totally OK, because I'm going to explain every single thing that I do when I'm programming. You're going to learn how to make for loops and variables and arrays and all those fun things. I'm going to teach every single one of them. And if you already have programming experience, that's totally cool because that's going to be super helpful. But if you're completely new, you're still going to be able to follow along and everything should be great for you. So you can expect more than 60 videos, about 13 hours of content in this course. And I tried to make my content as efficient as possible. Every video in this course is edited down to take as little time as possible while still explaining everything to you guys because time is money and I don't want to waste your guys' time. I also try to make sure that the videos aren't too fast so they're still easy to follow along but there's not going to be any blank space where you're going to be wasting time. Every single second we're going to be explaining or doing something. I've tried to do everything that I can to make a perfect course so I do hope that it's helpful to you guys and I do hope that once you're done with this course that you can make your own games. And there's a lot of really good advice in my videos that's gonna teach you guys and help you guys to get to that point where you can make a game. At the end of this course, you're gonna have a completed game and you're gonna have it on a website where you could share it with people and they can play online. And you're gonna have all the knowledge that you need in order to make your own games. Anyways, I'm super excited. I hope this course is gonna be helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys later.